Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a sales funnel in the new dashboard area of the Sage Sales Logics 7.5.3 web client. The dashboard area is a new feature that was released with the Service Pack 3 of uh, Sales Logics for the web. And in addition to what you're seeing on the screen, which is the out of the box KPIs and dashboard items, you also have the ability to build your own. One of the most common types of dashboard items that we are asked for and people like to see is a sales forecast funnel that shows your open opportunity T dollars divided by stage. And so that's what we're going to show you how to build today. And you do that simply by right clicking on one of the tabs at the top of the screen and you're going to choose a new tab. And I'm just going to simply call this forecast. And that's going to be the, the tab that it'll create for us. And as you can see, the screen is blank. So we're going to go ahead and add some content to it. So I right click again on the forecast tab, choose add new content. And now you're presented with a listing of all the different types of content that could be added. And we're going to look for the funnel chart, which here it is. So we're going to add a funnel chart. And that's going to bring up the funnel chart settings window. And I'm going to choose to call this open ops and the entity that I'm going to bring data in from is the opportunity entity and then I'm going to select the group and so here you're seeing a list of all of the groups of opportunities in the system and I'm going to choose all open and then I'm going to choose the sales stage as the dimension which is going to be the slices of the funnel and then the metric I'm going to show is going to be the sum of the sales potential or dollars that those opportunities represent in each stage. And yes, we're going to tell it to show the names of those stages to make it simpler. I click OK. And you'll notice it goes uh, off and builds the funnel instantly for me. And as I hover my mouse over the different slices of the funnel, it'll show me how many dollars are currently uh, stopped or resting in that particular stage. So as we move further down the funnel into the narrow, narrower sections, you can see that those dollars are getting progressively smaller until ultimately it looks like we have 841,000 sitting in the decision end of the funnel. Hopefully those all will turn into a yes. Thanks for watching.